Alrighty, uh, this is our 100th video. It's gonna be, uh, pretty much no different than any other ones, but hey, you know, 100 videos. Uh, so this video is going to be how to add new world drops, like loot corpses, uh, that kind of stuff. So uh, as we can see here, we've got several of them uh, with a bunch of stuff here. All right, so as far as things you're gonna need, um, Yap Room Bear is a good idea to have uh, for creating new item lots or checking item lot uh, IDs, things like that, that you're going to be assigning to your new corpses and things like that. Um, Map Studio also has a param editor built into it. I will show that a little bit in the video as well, so consider using either or. Uh, Mod Engine is kind of a go-to for setting stuff up. I would recommend watching my video on setting that up if you don't already know how to do that or have it set up. You're going to want UXM because I believe that your game directory will need to be unpacked to use Map Studio to its fullest capabilities here. And then, of course, Map Studio 1.0, the latest release uh, at the time of this video. Um, I have videos for setting up all of these things currently. so. If you need any extra help on those things, check those out. Um, and then any additional resources that you might need, um, you can find on the Souls modding uh, wiki and all of that stuff. Tell you the name of maps, all that kind of goods. Um, that's also mostly filled out inside of Map Studio as well. So use that or don't use that. Up to you. Uh, any further help beyond that, I uh, recommend joining my discord server here or the server name discord to follow up with help or questions of any sort but with that all being said the first thing we're going to do here is we will just kind of make sure we've got yapped open here on the side so we can check out some param lineup stuff here so we're going to go to item lot param map right here and this is where you're going to get anything to do with um the drops that you're actually going to find on bodies or in treasure chests, that kind of stuff. Um, and then we're going to run our way over here to DS Map Studio and launch that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to just add to some stuff in the tutorial area, which is the stranded graveyard here. So we'll just load that up again if you haven't ever used map studio or anything i have a video specifically on setting it up so we're going to navigate our way right over here this is kind of where the game normally drops your ass in kind of right in here this general area um, we'll just do a little bit of looky looky here so we've got this corpse right here this corpse right here this corpse right here this corpse right here these are all corpses that i've already added um, and set loot to uh, for the sake of practicing and all of that kind of good stuff um, so inside of map studio here you're not going to see these bodies posed the way that they are in the game uh, in the game this body right here is slumped over the stairs this one is sitting slumped over forward in the corner same with that one up there and then this one is slouched like face first into the ground that kind of thing uh, as far as posing them goes it is i'm not exactly sure what it is that dictates that to be completely honest with you um, each thing has a different set of poses but share the same model name so i have to assume it has something to do with masking um, i'll update if i figure that out more um, currently the easiest thing to do for me is to just look around the map that you want to put stuff in um, prior to going into it on map studio so if you're looking in game uh, there's this guy, he's slumped over the rocks up on the top there. And if you took a look inside of here, you would see this guy is normally sitting in the corner, kind of slumped over himself. Um, and so with that knowledge, what you can do is actually copy them by clicking on them, going to edit and then duplicate, and then you can move them around the map, position them however you want. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial though, I'm going to copy, oh, I don't know, we'll copy one of the dudes that's just sitting down, kind of slouched over, 
So I'm going to grab this guy right here and then I'm going to go to edit, duplicate, and then I'm going to grab the blue arrow here. I'm going to move him out and I'm going to just set him right on the ground, kind of right here, I think, just for the sake of ease. Um, you can go between rotate and uh, translations here by clicking E for getting rotate while you're selecting something and then W will bring you back to the up, down, left, right, blah, blah, blah. So we'll just rotate them a little bit and then we'll say you can kind of sit in the corner here. Uh, you want the feet of most things to just be kind of just barely touching the ground. Uh, of course you can position and take a gander at them however you please if something's not up to the way that you want it. So now we have this body moved over here. One nice thing that Map Studio does is it automatically changes the ID um, of whatever it is you duplicate, so you don't have to manually do that yourself. So we've got this guy right here. We're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom right here to look at the name, and we're just gonna copy that with Control C. And then we're gonna go up to Create right here, and then Events, Treasure Event right here. And then we can actually look at that easier over here. There's this little drop down menu and we're gonna to go to event treasure and then it's gonna show our new event right here, event treasure. So for the sake of the video here, I'm gonna leave it as that. So what you wanna do is you want to link up your treasure event with that ID of the model so that the little pickup uh, pops up on the model. So to do that, you're going to want to name the treasure part name the exact same name as the model. So that's why we copied that earlier right there. And then you're going to want to assign an item lot ID. You can do that inside of here by going to param editor right here, crawl, scrolling, not crawling, down to item lot param here. And you can take a look through them here directly and copy them and go back over. Or you can use the app itself separately and grab your IDs all the same. Um, I think we'll give this guy a, uh, a rune arc. Why not? It's going to be item lot 5400. So we will go back to our treasure event here. Properties. And then we will do this. I think that I... Type that right. 54. I cannot believe my brain. 5400. So, rune arc. And then these numbers right here, action button ID, these numbers are actually going to tell you what your pickup uh, prompt is on the screen. So, there are several options here. We'll utilize Yap just to keep both open at the same time here. It's going to be, I believe, up towards the top. It should be. What is it? Action pickup button. So it's right at the very, very top here. So these different IDs here are gonna be what that is. So there's some that are pillage remains, pillage corpse, pickup item, read message, depending on what type of object you're putting down to loot, you may want to change it. But this is a body and by default, it should be pillage remains uh, if you don't change it otherwise in chest i'm not exactly sure what that does these are usually linked up to if you're playing chess places um, i will probably do a separate video on how to add chests um, as far as event ids part names entity ids all that kind of stuff i don't believe that you have to change um, most of this there definitely doesn't have to be um, anything done up here so what we will go ahead and do is we will just kind of give this stuff the default values, which is going to be 0, 0, and then negative 1, 2, 5, 5, 0, 0, and then negative 1, just like so. Next up, we will go to File, just click Save All, and it will not show that you have these two things linked unless you close Map Studio and reopen it, but if you were to do that, it would look something like this, where you go click on the body right there. You can scroll all the way down, and you'll see right here in the bottom right, objects referencing this object treasure, and that's the thing that that drops. So if you would click on the treasure and look at it, you can see what the treasure itself is linked to, 
the asset model, this guy right here. So with this all saved, I'm just gonna exit it out and then we will load up our game real quick. All right, so here we are hanging out. We added this body right here. So uh, as you can see, the uh, feet are kind of sticking up off the ground a little bit. Um, you can fix that with some rotation, things like that, if that bothers you. So right here, rune arc, and we got a furl calling finger remedy. Uh, which I believe I set up previously with something else, but point being, there you go. Um, that would be how you would create a new body drop. You can do this pretty much anywhere in the game, to my knowledge. I don't see why it would be restricted. Um, so hopefully that is helpful for you. Um, you can use this for pretty much any sort of item lot drop to my knowledge here so if you mod in a weapon armor gear goods anything like that and you want another way to be able to acquire it that's not just modding it into your own inventory or adding it to a shop that's another way to do it um, if that's helpful for you please leave a like likes are what tells youtube that the video is decent enough to be recommended to people so other people have questions the more likes the more gets pushed out to people so um, with that being all said and done thanks for watching guys 100th video Woo